Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Today we're going to try to get through the Sand Kingdom. Uh, this may be a bit tricky in some ways because, well, you'll see, but in other ways it's going to be fairly easy because appropriately enough, the Sand Kingdom is the first real sandbox level in the game. We can get whichever moons we like, basically, which should help with that collecting process. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so we got Mario here already crouching. We're gonna head into Toscarina Town and start gathering moons. I haven't really planned this out. I'm just I'm gonna grab whatever moons we come across, basically. Uh, let's grab a couple of these purple coins, too. Again, this isn't a speed run, so I'm not trying to get moons as quickly as possible. I know there's a particular route people use in the 80% run, but I don't really know what it is, so I may be getting the same moons, or I might not. I'm guessing probably not, because I'm not doing any of the story. Where can we plant this? Was there a seed there? Was it? Oh, one of the seeds must be there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we can probably plant it in that pot right there, Cavi. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, there's a moon up here, which I'm trying to get to, while clumsily controlling the game, because I'm permanently crouching. There we go. That's our first moon. We need 16 here, which is quite a sum. But it is entirely doable without too much hassle. Uh, I think the next one we'll go for is this one down here. You can actually do this before unfreezing the kingdom. I used to think you couldn't. But I was mistaken. I can just roll on in here. To get employees only. It's easy peasy. So that's 2 out of 16. Then we're going to head over towards the Tostarina Ruins and see what we can do over there. Ruins are, of course, in this general direction. We could probably get the bird, but birds are annoying once again, right? So, first of ruins are up here. They have some pretty good music, which we'll start shortly. There we go. Well, uh, we're gonna get the next checkpoint flag. Possibly just roll away, who knows. Yeah, it's a little tricky to keep control of Mario when you are rolling forever. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's right, getting a new flag also heals you. You don't notice that much because you can only do it once, unlike playing moons that you can do as many times as you want. Okay, let's get a little shortcut here. There are two easy moons just around here which we'll be grabbing shortly. Uh, I know there's a special strat for getting these two moons much faster, but I don't really know how to do it. And this isn't a speedrun, so I'm not going to do it. That's 3 out of 16. I wonder if the cage is there, or no, the cage isn't even there. I'm not sure if I can open the moon rock for that to show up, or if you just have to do the story. Either way, we won't be doing it. So. <laughs> Uh, this part, you can get up there without going to the 2D section, which is good, because if we did go into the 2D section, um, I'll just demonstrate. As you can see, there's another pipe here, so when you head in, you immediately leave again. And there's nothing we can do about that, as far as I know. I've tried various tactics to avoid that problem, I'm pretty sure it's possible. Thankfully, we can just do that here, which is very easy. Uh, but then we can go break this box, which has another moon in it. Not that one. <laughs> that one has some binoculars in it for some reason. There's the moon. Uh, I believe you're supposed to fly over there with the bullet. Uh, but you can run into the bullet instead. That's an option. No, you can um, just long jump over there and it's pretty easy. So you might as well do it that way. That's four moons. Uh, there is one more over on that ledge, which you can see from here. In speedruns, they climb up that bicycle there on the right. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, that one there. I can't go into first person view. Because <laughs> I'm crouching and that disables first person view. I'm gonna try to capture the bullet. I'll probably will screw up the timing a couple times. <laughs> okay. Get over this way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, so let's, I'm going to try to capture this here bullet, I can time it right, there we go, and then just fly over to the moon that way. I believe this is the intended way to do it, once you've done the story there's also some power lines you can use, but this play works straight away, so we're going to do it that way. That's 5 out of 16 moons now. 
So we're making decent progress so far. Uh, let's head this direction. I forget. I believe there's another moon over here we can get using the bullet bill. So we will do that. Oh, there's also one over there, so we can get two more moons fairly easily. Let's try to get the bullet. There we go. So yeah, there's another moon just here, which you get by smashing that rock. And as you can see, there's one just over there, which we'll be getting momentarily. This is going faster than I expected. I might actually do two kingdoms in this video. <laughs> there we go. That's seven. Seven out of sixteen. So, almost halfway. Now, the reason we're spending so much time wandering around here and getting moons rather than doing the main story is because. I'll go over and show everyone. Uh, we gotta skip this clear section again, of course, because there's no way we can get into it. Thankfully, it's very easy to skip. Let's do that. Uh, the real problem is. Uh, oh dear. This may take a couple tries. <laughs> Not a problem, there's some status here which I used to earlier. So. Uh, when you're in the sinking sand, that actually cancels out crouching, so that's handy. Although we won't be using it too much because the sinking sand isn't a very useful place to be most of the time. Uh, hmm. I may just skip going up there at all. <laughs> well, we'll see if I can manage it. Flip, 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 flip. So yeah, getting up here is super easy. You just have to bounce off your cap before you do any kind of wall jump because the wall jump prevents you from doing a bounce after it. I don't know why. It's a strange quirk of the game. Probably just so that you can't climb too high. Anyway, to get to the next moon at the top of this tower, we have to, you know, go into 2D to climb the tower. And that is a problem because if we come over here where the pipe is, you'll see the pipe lands you on top of that other pipe. Uh, as far as I know, there is no way to climb up this tower without going through the 2D section. It can be done jumpless because in 2-player you have a special hover move in 2D that lets you jump a little bit. I don't think it can be done uncrouchingless because of this pipe here. Which means that we can't get the first story moon, which means we can't get any of the other story moons. So that whole path is just locked off to us. Thankfully, there's lots of other stuff we can do, so we won't have any problem. Uh, although, if we fall and die, that, that is a bit of a problem. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, um, we do not have any coins, huh? Birds just haven't really tried to grind them or anything. There hasn't been much of this game being played yet. We could have gotten a bunch of them in Cascade, which would have ended this with a much higher total, but we didn't do that. Okay, actually you can just walk jump up there rather than do a cap down, so that's really, really easy actually. Um, although if you, you know, start rolling you have a problem. See, basically the problem with rolling is once you've started, the only ways you can stop are by slowing to stop, which takes a little while, obviously. By throwing Cappy in midair, which interrupts your roll, or by bumping into something, like that. Letting go of cracks is the normal way to stop rolling, and it's what you usually do when you don't die or anything else, so that you don't roll, but we obviously can't do that. So, if you do need to dive, we just keep rolling. <laughs> um, anyway, I've shown you a problem with that, so let's go look at some other moons. There are a lot of moons around in the cluster, and you don't need to do any of the story moons, which is good because we can't. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, standing on the sand, it cancels out the fact that I'm holding crouch, so I can jump normally. Sort of normally, you can't, I think you can't get triple jumps out of that, or double jumps either. Uh, we can get this one without any trouble. That takes us to eight. We're halfway there. There's another hidden, like, area down that hole over there. You'd think it would just kill you, but it doesn't. Uh, so we'll be looking there in a moment. Don't know if we can talk to the Sphinx because we are crouching. Okay, you can talk to people who are crouching. I wasn't sure. Uh, it's the freezy treats. I mean, there are freezy treats here. Okay, that means we can get two more moons because you can talk to the Sphinx once 
they've opened up the passage in order to get a few more questions. Uh, ready. These are not random ones, these are always the same. Uh, have one by car, uh, it's ice. I haven't actually seen that yet in this playthrough, but you're going to have to have seen it for that to work. Uh, I think the answer's five? Yeah, I, I can't get on top of the inverted pyramid, so I would have to guess. Because <laughs> that's, you know, part way through the story. Uh, your name is... I really wish you were Quiz Kitty, that's so cute. Yeah! So we get a moon that way, and we can go get another moon by heading into the door behind where the Sphinx was before. We can also get a bunch of coins, which is nice, because we're kind of lacking on that department. Speedrun is actually a clip into the wall behind the Sphinx in order to get this moon, and the one in the hidden room I showed a moment ago. But I don't know how to do that, and I'm not sure it works in 1.2, it might have been patched. Speedrunners usually play 1.0, the original version of the game, which lets you do a lot more skips than this version does. But I don't have that version, I have 1.2. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we have 10 moons, we need 6 more. Thankfully, the vast majority of the desert is still accessible. If you have a look at the map here, uh, Cappy tells us about warping. We can't go over there. Oh, maybe we can. You're supposed to use the story to get over there, but I think you can fly a bullet to get over there. And as you can see, all the rest of the desert is just one big block, so we can access pretty much everything. At least it's outside. Uh, there's the visitor who was frozen in the ice that they mentioned in prison a ago, so... Yeah, um... <laughs> now, since we can talk to people, we could buy a moon, but I don't think we only really need to. Uh, let's see, there's, a, there's another sub-area over here. I was thinking the best spot to go next is probably over here. So up there, you're supposed to go through the area down there to get up to the top of this, but you can pretty easily just do that. Unfortunately for us, that's not very helpful because the moon here is inaccessible until we ice falls, so we can't do that. What we can do is come on down here, hit that flag if we want, or, you know, miss it if we want. What we can do is into here and do this sub area, which involves a capture, so it's very easy. Or at least the normal amount of easy. Uh, it is possible to skip this entire area in a normal run. I'm gonna try that, because I haven't tried it before. And I'm curious. Okay, yep, we can do it. We can do it while crouching. So yeah, you can just get up here, and then instead of doing the actual maze, you can just roll along the top. Uh, obviously that's intentional because you don't pile the coins here. A lot of stuff in this game can be circumvented or done, you know, sometimes in a harder way by using some careful movement, sometimes in an easier way by doing some careful movement. Of course, if you roll off the edge like that, then you, you're not going to get the moon. We're going to have to try again. <laughs> anyway, getting up there is very, very easy. I just did it again without even moving before I climbed up. So, yeah, super easy. There are two moons in here, so I'll see if I can reach both of them. That isn't one of them, that's just some purple coins. We're not doing an all purple coins around here, as you may have noticed, given I didn't get any in Cascade. <laughs> I think over there is where the other moon is. <laughs> Yeah, you can't throw your cap while you're rolling off a ledge, so you have to be careful with that. Um, one of the best jumping techniques in the game is a cappy roll jump, which you do by rolling off a ledge, but you have to throw a cappy first. I don't think it's possible while permanently crouching, because you usually throw a cappy on the ground. Uh, maybe it's doable, I don't know. Uh, anyway, here's a moon, so we'll be getting that. What you're actually supposed to do is get a bullet bill and do it that way, but, you know, we're, we're doing stunts. <laughs> um, let's see. I think we can probably just throw a khaki to get that up. Yeah, that's totally doable. Uh, although, if we then mess it up, we're gonna die again. <laughs> Obviously, I'm doing things harder than they need to be, just more fun, really, but, you know, no problem. 
I don't really mind dying in this game for the most part because there's basically no punishment when you do it. Uh, the exception being some of the like really end game levels where it does pinch back a long way. Those ones are a little frustrating. Anyway, the intended way to do this is that you get a bullet bill and you just fly along with it, and you get another bullet bill without messing it up preferably. Of course you have to be in the air to throw Cappy and the bullets are at the same height as you so it's a little tricky to capture them when you want to. Uh, I think I might just go up here because yeah, there's, a nice, there's a nice big ledge up here. We don't just fall off the other end or anything. Anyway, you're supposed to take the bullet bills through those rotating walls which is very dangerous because the bullet bill will blow up but you can just do that. <laughs> Uh, so, we now have, what is that, 12? Yeah, we have 12 out of 16, making good progress. Uh, you can do this kingdom much faster than I'm doing it if you were speedrunning. Uh, we're at about 16 minutes right now, so... It's taking a bit longer than the previous two kingdoms, which took 20 minutes all up with both of them, so... <laughs> this one might be around the same length for just this one kingdom, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I think... The moon over here on the garbage is still there. I can't always remember which moons show up after you've done stuff, because a lot of them only show up when you've already completed other things. But this one, I believe, is already accessible. So yeah, this is it. Let's do a little backflip. There we go. That's 13. We need three more moons and we're done here. We can't get into the inverted pyramid, and we will never be able to get into the inverted pyramid on this file because we're permanently crouching. Uh, however, let's take that area, that, that's, that's fun. Maybe not, it might be interesting. We'll crouch and see how we go. So, there's a little sub area at the bottom of this hole. Even though it looks deadly, it's not. It's just this, it's just an icy sub area here. You can see the snow falling. That's not snow, that's sand. You can see the sand falling. Uh, you're on ice, which should make things more dangerous, but I don't think it will. Because, you know, you bonk and then you're back to normal again. Oh, oh, maybe it will, actually. Hmm. You know, is the post wall jump up these? Uh, and we will in a moment. But we're gonna play things safe by coming out here first. And yes. Get over here. Uh, and these next ones I believe you actually have to wall jump to the top of the order to get the moon. Actually, there's only one moon here, which is kind of strange. Most of these sub areas have two moons. Okay, I need to be able to wall jump. Which I can't do while long jumping because we bonk. Uh, can I do it while back flipping? Yes. So this is pretty straightforward once you manage to start wall jumping, you just gotta climb up to the top. And then, yeah, there is only one moon here. That's interesting. Most of these areas do have two. That might remind the expert players of a certain other challenge that involves a lot of long jumps. <laughs> Although, of course, the long jumps are required rather than. No, just me forcing it on myself and hitting the button. Anyway. Oh yeah, and it takes you out here when you get the other moon. Okay, so that makes sense. So that's the Jaxi, who lives on top of Jaxi Ruins, of course. Uh, we will not be going with the Jaxi, because we don't need to. We'll just be getting this moon here. Okay, so that's... 15. Uh, there's a chest over here, which we can also open. This one just has coins in it, uh, but that's good because we may need some. It also has quite a lot of coins in it. However, this chest always stays open. It doesn't, like, respawn the way the moon does, so you can't make a huge profit there, basically. Okay, so let's get ourselves down here. Uh, that purple stuff is poison. If you run on it as Mario, you just die instantly for grabs of how much health you have, so don't. <laughs> um, if you're a Jaxi, though, you can just 
just run across that super easy. I'm not sure if I can pick up these nuts while crouching. Let's have a look. Yeah, because the Y button... Hmm, what if I bounce off the nut and then I pick it up? Okay, yeah, you can pick it up. Once, once you're holding it, pressing crouch does nothing, so... Yeah, this is super easy. Um... I might not do it just yet. Um, you have to wait around for the nut to grow, so that's not the most efficient way to do this, basically. <laughs> Once you've planted it, with those moon pots I saw earlier. <laughs> um, let's see, I think these ruins are pretty much tapped out. We can't hit the top and get the last moon. We're taking pointless damage here for no reason. Let's go to the oasis. To the there. Some of the sub areas are frozen over. We can't go to uh I think it's called Weird Neighborhood. The, there's a rocket into Australia Town which is another sub area that we can't reach. You have to long jump here because you can't very easily roll up the slope. <laughs> uh, here we are, this is the oasis. Uh, a lot of stuff here can't be done yet. Because the oasis, like everything else, is frozen. There's a Lakitu frozen there in the ice. Can't get that Lakitu. We also can't go fishing because the Lakitu is frozen in the ice. Uh, we can go over here where the birds gather and do a quick ground pound to get the moon also called where the birds gather. There we go. So that's 16 moons. That's all we needed. So we are going to go to the Odyssey and cash those in. And that'll be good this video, I reckon, because, you know, I've only got... It's about 20 minutes, about the same length as the previous one, so that should do the trick. Anyway, uh, we're gonna roll back to the Odyssey. Although it's a bit off the slope, we might need to... Okay, yep, that's good. So, we cash in the next 16 moons, that's exactly enough to take us on to the next kingdom, so... Good for us. As you can see, it's filling up the green sail. There we go. Total 21 moons apparently. Which makes sense because that's you know, 5 plus 16. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Okay. So basically, immediately when you leave. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Uh, so this is basically the only non-linearity in terms of the actual levels. You have to do them all in the same order, except you get to choose which of these two to go to, and there's another pair of kingdoms later on that do the same thing. Last time I went to Wooded first, so we're gonna go to Lake first. Uh, we're not gonna do it just now though, we're going to end the video. Uh, I'll just let you guys see the final takeoff here. There's no pre music this time, it's pretty bland. Whew. Oh well. Uh, so a little cutscene. I don't think these are skippable. Oh no, they are skippable. Okay, yeah. Uh, this part's not skippable. Do you have a mouth, Cappy? I can't see one. <laughs> okay, um, the homing cap throw, basically, if you've got Cappy out and you shake the controller, she'll just home in on something nearby. It's, it's handy, it's a little annoying to shake the controller to do it, but that's this game for you. Pointless motion controls. Fortunately, there aren't that many pointless motion controls. The game is quite playable without them. Uh, anyway, this is the lake here. We're arriving in now. We can actually do the story mission here, but the lake here is very sandboxy and it's very common just to not do it because there's so few moons you need. See, just eight. Um, but we won't be doing it just yet, though. We'll be doing that next time, so that's the video. Um, leave a comment or whatever, I guess. I don't know. No one reads the comments, so don't leave a comment if you don't want to. It's a comment. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, I'll be reading comments on my video, obviously. Just, you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, have fun, y'all.